Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. If you guys are new here, highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. I post about three to four beauty videos every week and I hate for you to miss it. Without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay guys, I'm so excited today. One of my favorite brands is back and we are so, so apprehensive. But I was chilling, it was Friday night, and all of a sudden I saw somebody post that BH had finally launched their new travel series quads. So I just like went on the website and I was like, add to cart, add to cart. So I bought all of the quads and I did go ahead and swatch these. So I will go ahead and put up swatches while we talk about these. But basically there's five eyeshadow quads and then a face palette. So the face palette is called Cute in Cabo and it says spring break forever or at least when you wear Cute in Cabo face quad. This all-in-one palette is made for medium skin tones, features a soft gold highlight with pearlescent shimmer finishes so you can glow on the go with just a sweep of color. So I will say I did swatch this. It does seem a little bit of a mid-tone palette. So I think I'll be able to use this like as a bronzer. I am wearing a cream bronzer right now, but I will definitely use this bronzer and highlighter today. And I have a different new blush that I wanna test out. So I'm testing out multiple things. I'm filming a testing new makeup video. I'm filming this BH video. We got a lot going on. So that is the face quad. And then we have all these cute eyeshadow quads. So we have Magnetic in Miami, which is super duper pretty. It's like a pinky, purpley, orangey, peachy kind of quad. We have Meet Me in Malibu, which honestly, I don't know if I can pull that off. I did see a really cute look though on BH's Instagram. Just looking at the quads, I think Iconic in Iceland is probably my favorite. It's very smoky very different for BH if you ask me. And then we have Ecstatic in Egypt, which is like a neutral one. And we have Mesmerizing in Mykonos, which is a beautiful half neutral, half blue little quad. So I feel like some of these color stories definitely catch my eye. I do wish they had done some things a little bit differently, but let's talk about that after we test these out because I'm just so beyond curious. I'm going to do a look where I mix most of these quads or try as many of them as I can just because I don't feel like any one color story is really calling to me. So let's get into it. Okay, so I primed my eyes with my e.l.f. cream eyeshadow base and I'm going to start off with Magnetic in Miami. I really want to put this pink shade in my crease. So I'm going to grab a fluffy blending brush from Sigma. And it's definitely very dusty. I'm making a nice mess. And we're just going to place that on the inner corner and blend up. I was really excited that these launched, but I will say none of these color stories, just like off the bat, none of these color stories really call to me. I will say now that I've seen them in person, like Iceland is definitely like edgier than what I was expecting. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm excited for Mykonos. Egypt is just like a little neutral quad, so I'm not sure how well that'll do for them because you can basically buy like a BH neutral palette for <laughs> not that much more money and you could probably get way more than four colors. So that's the hard thing about the BH price point, I would say is like, how are you gonna, you know, pick between all of these shades when you can buy the bigger palettes and they're so much better. Okay, now I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go into this dark blue shade from the Mykonos Quad and we're just gonna blend that on the outer corner. I need something with more control. This brush is so fluffy and it has such long bristles that I just don't think I have enough control of the brush. So I'm gonna switch brushes and my friend Heather already tried these and so she's been saying like, I can't wait to hear what you guys think about the new BH. <laughs> And now I'm like nervous because I'm like, oh gosh, is it bad? Is it good? I was going to watch our video and then I was like, eh, 
maybe I should wait because I don't want to repeat whatever she said, you know, but <laughs> so far, not bad. I don't know if this is like the old BH though, you know, the old BH was like, whew, so, so pigmented, like so, so pigmented. Okay. For brow bone, I think I'm going to go into this peachy shade from the Malibu quad. I'm just going to grab a clean brush and pick up the peachy shade. And I'm just going to blend out the pink and the purple. I got my brows done. I feel like a new woman. Okay, I'm going to go back into the dark blue. And then I'm going to take another flat brush and I'm going to go into this gold shade here and I'm just going to throw a little bit on the brow bone just to give it like a bit of a highlighter look. I'm going to take this same brush and I'm going to go into this black shade with shimmer in it and I'm just going to put a little bit on the outer corner. Okay, so now for lid, I think... I think we're going to use this silvery white shade from Iceland. So I'm going to pick it up on this brush and I'm going to give it a little spray. I think instead of swiping like I'm used to, I need to just like tap. I do like this shade. It's really pretty. It has like a gray white vibe to it. It's not just a straight up like silvery shade. Okay, I think this is about as good as it's gonna get. So now I wanna use a eyeliner. I just bought this. So this is the Nazara No More Eyeliner from Kulfi. So this is their Kajal Eyeliner Crayon. And I just wanted to try this because this was their first product and I'm actually trying out their concealer today as well in my testing new makeup number three video. So go check that out if you're interested. But let's go ahead and test out the eyeliner because it's new to me. And I mean, I feel like, you know, oh, okay. That got a little out of control. Eyeliner is, Kajal is like such a big cultural thing and since this is like a south asian brand i'm very curious to see if this is like the eyeliner end all be all kind of thing i'm gonna have a wear test in my testing makeup video so we'll see how well it wears but overall not completely blown away by this um i feel like i have other eyeliners the packaging feels very meh so i will keep you guys posted about that but that blue shade, it traveled. It was like, listen, I'm a destination palette. I'm a travel. So it definitely like traveled into the lower lash line. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go into this green shade from Malibu. And I'm just going to kind of throw that on the inner corner. I don't love that purple shade I used from the i don't remember whatever palette uh on my crease because it's like kind of fading but that's okay and we'll just live i'm going to take a little bit of this iceland shade and i'm just gonna merge the two shimmers and now i'm gonna go into mykonos grab the blue and we're gonna give it a little blendy blend here Okay, so that is the eye look. Now let's go ahead and test out the quad really quickly before I go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and give you guys my thoughts. So let's start off with the bronzer shade right here. Like I mentioned, I am wearing the Merit Cream Bronzer. I got it in PR. So I'm just putting this on top. These square pans are so tiny that it's really hard to get my giant. I'm just going to mix these two because I literally cannot. <laughs> but that's a pretty color. I mean, BH has always had really decent face palettes in my opinion. 
But again, I just think their price point, I don't know why you would buy this tiny thing versus just buy the bigger pans. Okay, yeah, so maybe you'll pay a little bit more, but you're also not going to be suffering to try and get your bronzer brush into the pan. So <laughs> there's that. Oh my gosh, my postpartum hair loss is coming in hot. <laughs> like, I'm trying not to stress about it because there's literally nothing I can do, but it's definitely, it's definitely happening. Okay, I was going to test this out in the other video I'm filming, but I'm just going to do it in this video so I can put on the highlighter from BH, but this is the new Gucci Beauty Blush. I don't know why. They launch one shade and then they launch all the shades today, the day I'm filming this, so... I kind of want two more shades, but now I literally don't have any money to spend on blush. So I bought the shade Bright Coral, but I would love the rose shade and there's like a pretty terracotta shade. This packaging is freaking adorable. Here's the Gucci bronzer. So it's significantly smaller, which honestly it is what it is. Am I ever gonna use all of my blush? Probably not. And then it just has like a little clasp. So super duper adorable. And let's go ahead and apply it. I'm just gonna grab this like old Luxie brush. Ooh, I'm so excited. I don't know if this color is gonna show up on me. I don't know. It definitely has that same like Gucci Beauty fragrance. Okay, it's very light. Very much like a wash of color type situation. I honestly think this is a little light for me. I wish I could go back and buy the rose shade. I will once I get once I get more money. I will, but at least I have one. <laughs> at least I have one, and I don't know. Maybe I can return this. I don't know. It's okay though. It is it is building up, but I feel like if you're darker than me. I don't know if you'd have the patience to sit there and keep trying to build it up is all I have to say about that. And then let's go into the Cabo palette and let's put on some highlighter. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty blinding. Okay, it's like a good mid-tone highlighter shade. Just blending that in. Putting some on the Cupid's bow. Not bad, but it's definitely like a highlighter. I have like a thousand of these gold highlighters. So that is the quad and the Gucci Beauty blush. So now I need to do a mascara, a lip, and I will be right back to give you guys some of my first impression thoughts on this latest launch from BH Cosmetics. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. What do you guys think? Like I mentioned, I am filming all of the base products in this video for a testing new makeup episode number three. So if you wanna see that, it's probably coming soon. I will try and drop the link in my description box in case you guys are curious, but I did try out a lot of new products, including the new Patrick Ta Cream Foundation. So if you've been curious about it, Wanting to know if it's tan girl friendly, highly recommend waiting for that video to go up. But we are all here to talk about BH. You guys want to know, I'm sure, just like I did, whether BH is back or if it's like BH is back and we need to avoid them at all costs. So ah, I'm dreading this, but let's just let's just do it. Let's just rip it off. Let's just talk about it. So Let's start off with the packaging. I think they nailed the packaging. It's very true to the original travel series. I love that they did quads because it's like, how many times can you do a big eyeshadow palette without being repetitive? So those are kind of the pluses. As far as the eyeshadow formula and whether I think it's similar to the BH Good Good formula, I'm gonna have to say no. Like if the... BH formula that I love is like a 10 out of 10. This is like a five. Like I can make this work. Some of the shadows work really well. Some of the shadows are eh. Like I don't hate this look I have on, but I feel like I would have had a way easier go with it if I had used like Passion in Paris. So overall, I feel like they're back. They're doing okay, but I wouldn't say like run out and buy these. Maybe if you guys see them on sale, 
maybe it's worth picking up, but full price, mm, no. I think you would probably have better stuff in your collection already. Now, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I just wanted to show you that like, I'm serious about BH. Like I have a lot of their palettes. I've bought a lot of their palettes in the past. Some of the things I've decluttered, but if these are still from before BH got bought out or before they started producing new stuff, I would say if you can get your hands on these, go ahead and do so. I know some people have said they've seen this stuff at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, so highly recommend. So if you're looking at these at a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, highly recommend grabbing. This Absinthe palette is so beautiful. I think this was like a Halloween drop. So they did a bunch of monochromatic eyeshadow palettes and such a good green palette. I don't think I ever use Venom, but I did swatch it. So a really nice cool tone palette. This collection, I think it was called the Out Loud collection. It did have like swear words on it, so I don't think it did as well. But these are some of the best BH palettes. Again, I love BH's green eyeshadow palettes. Kind of disappointed that they didn't do more interesting color stories in these little quads because I feel like they had so much potential. Like Mykonos could have easily been something like this versus what they came out with. And then we have, of course, this is not the travel series, but one of my original favorite BH palettes, this is the Blueberry Muffin. And then the Paris palette took over. So this is the Passion in Paris palette. This is like the height of amazing BH quality. We also had this beautiful Tulum palette. So I don't know why you would buy this guy over this guy other than the size. But as you guys saw, it was such a pain in the butt to try and get into those little square pans. So I don't love that. The Avocado Toast palette, another gorgeous green eyeshadow palette. This Glowing in Grease palette is such a beautiful face palette. And then of course, oh my gosh, you would have to pry these out of my cold dead hands. It's the Ice Cream Series by BH. These are such good quality, so creamy. So we have basically monochromatic palettes, but look at the depth they gave us with these palettes. So that one's gorgeous, this bubblegum. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So if you guys can get your hands on these, I would highly, highly recommend. I don't wanna like beat this like a dead horse. I said, I think everything I had to say it's just okay. I'm not blown away by it. Do I regret buying these? No, because now I can tell you guys about them. But I will say for like, Karen, I just want to like buy one. I would say probably Mykonos. It's like a half neutral and two blue eyeshadows. So I don't know that it's something that you need. This one is definitely more interesting. Like it's definitely one of the more unique color stories. But Malibu, like I don't know, that shimmer minty shade is nice, but it's very muted. And Egypt is like a little neutral quad. So I don't know, overall it's very meh. I feel very meh about the whole thing. I feel like if I start comparing them to the BH palettes I know and love, I'm pretty disappointed. So if you guys have a decent sized BH collection, I would say pass on these, save your money. That's why I have a YouTube channel, so I can save you guys money. Thank you guys so, so much for checking out this video. Let me know what you think. Did you buy these quads? Are you going to pass on them? Are you thinking that you might get them on sale? You guys know I love chatting to you in my comment section. Also, just so you guys know, Monday's video has a giveaway in it. My new makeup releases, I'm doing a back to school giveaway, so if you want to go ahead and enter that, I will leave the new makeup releases video down below. You can just follow the instructions on there. Thank you guys so, so much for coming to my channel. Have a wonderful rest of the week, and I will see you in a new video very, very soon. Bye, guys!